Hello Divine Feminine and welcome to your power message for Thursday. Sending you all so much love. I feel there's lots of cleansing energy around today. There could be some rain where you are, but definitely the energy of water and the energy of the colour blue, which means Archangel Michael is with you, giving you strength and power as you release what needs to go. So I'm going to bring in four decks of cards and then bring in the book. So I'm really being guided to these littler decks right now. So the language of flowers we're going to bring in. We're going to bring in a message for you. This is a gorgeous little deck. We're going to bring in some blessing cards and we're going to bring in some moon cards. So thank you, angels. What's the message for the divine feminine today? Jump straight out there, one card. So another one sticking out there as well. Nope, just that one. A message from the flowers. And you know, we've been connecting with flowers lately with the roses have been coming through and the apology energy. Have we got a blessing message? A blessing message. I'm going to take them all. That's the main one, though. These are extra clarifiers. And a message from the moon. What do we need to know? So we're going to start with these cards then. So first of all, the message is chakra. It says, are your chakras in alignment right now? And they just gave me a gnashing of the teeth together, connecting with decisions. It says, Reiki energy works. So this would be a great day for you to maybe have Reiki done, or maybe you are a Reiki healer. Maybe you're doing Reiki or energy work on others, but definitely a great day to heal or align the chakras today. Are they in alignment? When was the last time you cleansed or cleared your chakras? And I did a powerful chakra cleanse in the playlist on New Year's Day. So you can do that and work right from the top all the way down. So make sure you're cleansing your chakras. I definitely feel as we move forward, there's going to be some throat chakra healing healing so we can communicate properly and clearly and you know over the last few days you may have been picking up on a little bit of confusion not quite sure where you're going or what to do or what's happening but I feel clarity coming in today and I feel that's because Archangel Michael has stepped in it's like he said right enough's enough you need to be very clear now about what you're doing and we've got the sunflower Sunflowers may mean something special to you on your journey, but this is about rising up. Think how tall sunflowers are. They're like the giraffe. They stand tall. So we are able to see things in a higher way. It says rise up, stand strong and true. Be assertive. So this is a great day to stand up for what you believe in. You may find today that you have to balance your chakras a little bit because you may be tested a little bit. You know, this could be a day where People are questioning what you're doing or what you are learning or, you know, the things you are achieving. So I feel this could also be at work, you know, or connecting with family, friends, people saying, what do you do then? Or are you married? Or, you know, the usual questions we get, especially as a twin flame when we're single. Why aren't you with anyone? What's wrong with you? There's plenty more fish in the sea. All the usual questions. And you're being reminded that you are safe. And, you know, the same ear chakras. You know, ear chakras, so I feel the ear chakras are also being aligned so you don't get triggered by things you hear or what people say. You rise above it and you stand strong and true in your power, remembering who you are. It's none of your business what other people think of you. And it doesn't matter what they think as long as you know your truth and you're okay. That's what matters. We've got awareness, the gardenia. Wake up, roll the clouds away and look wake up so when you wake up in the morning and you roll back the covers and you roll back the curtains or you know you pull them back or you lift and lift up your blinds say I know this is going to be a great day you can really look at your life in a powerful way then this is going to be an amazing day start the day as you mean it to go on and be in the energy of awareness that means notice things going on around you because you're always being shown previews of what's to come We've got a blessing woven in time. So you're being reminded here that you are a blessing woven into this particular timeline. That means you're here for a reason now in 2023. You're never going to get this time back, so enjoy the moment. The present circumstances are guiding you to a sacred space inside you from where you will see things more clearly. And that's always in the present moment. And it's always when you are connecting with source to or yourself where your twin is. And yesterday we spoke about that 5D invitation, bringing in the 3D invitation. So connect with yourself to see things clearly. 
Look through the eyes of the soul and you'll find the answer. This card is a blessing woven in time. The time will soon come. Isn't that beautiful? The time will soon come. So whenever you're worrying about or thinking about, the time will soon come. That could be your reunion. It could be that message. It could be that goal you're manifesting. It could be your twin coming back into your life or the union itself. But the angels are saying this is a blessing woven in time right now. It's happening exactly as it's meant to be. So stand tall like a sunflower. Be assertive and be aware like the gardenia where you notice what's going on around you. So you can pluck out those weeds in your life and replace it with seeds and acorns that become mighty trees. So very powerful energy. And this can also be the third eye chakra. So I feel for some of you, you need to cleanse your ear chakras. For some of you, you need to cleanse your third eye. So you see things clearer. Maybe you need to clear all the chakras out just to, you know, feel better today. And we've got the Lenten Rose for protection. Conserve what you have, save a little. So I feel this also saving your energy, you know, for what you need it for. For the things in your life you want to create. Maybe you're thinking about budgeting right now or saving money. You've been shown that, you know, your love life and your finances and your career, everything is protected. And the rose, remember, is about healing. It's about adjustments. It's about apologies. And the sending in the sun. So the sun is coming to you today. It's just been raining here. So it's like energy of cleansing. And then the sun comes out to cleanse the rain and to warm everywhere up. We've also got the waxing moon. We've got the moon in Scorpio and the moon in Capricorn, which is really powerful because Capricorn is about adventure and the Scorpio is about responding with love and the waxing moon is about things falling into place. So it's saying to you, now is a good time to focus on achieving your own personal goals. So think about what you want to create. And we've just had that powerful new moon. We're in Aries energy, which is all about action and change. So it's a great day to think about your goals, what you want to achieve in your life, what you want to do, whether this is connected with your twin flame journey or something else. And the moon in Scorpio is saying, replace negatives with positives because negative attitudes and fiery arguments are possible at this time. So fiery arguments because we're in the fire energy of Aries and fiery arguments can come up quickly. You know, if you get triggered by something or someone. And I feel this could be the energy today. This is why you're being guided to cleanse your chakras. Because if you've got people coming at you saying, why aren't you with anyone? What's up with you? What's up with this? You know, what's up with them? Talking about the journey, not really understanding it. You can get triggered and you can, you can go easily into fear or a reaction energy where you want to defend yourself or you know, tell people the truth. But all you have to do is be you. Because being you and operating in your light and love is all they need to see. Because they see a difference in you and the way you are. That instead of getting triggered and reacting, you now process and respond. So channel your energies into positive physical activities like decorating or gardening or yoga or going to the gym or walking or doing something you want to do, you know, physical activity. So when you get angry or you get triggered, channel the energy into something positive. And remember that now is a good time to achieve in your goals. So don't let anyone knock you off your path. You know, when we're close to achieving a goal, the ego can come in to try and make us, you know, fail. And it can be the devil energy saying, oh, you're not good enough for that, or you're not worthy of that, or not deserving of that, just at the exact moment it's about to come in. So instead of reacting today, make sure you respond with love, and you see things in a higher way. So the awareness energy is becoming the observer, and the sunflower is standing up for what you believe in, but doing it in a powerful way. And the Capricorn energy is saying, put aside emotional concerns, and focus on achieving or increasing financial security. So this is a really good day to work on you, to bring more money in, maybe receive ideas or creative projects today to bring in more. You may have a job interview or you may be thinking about making a change at work. You may be helping someone out at work and guiding them in some way. I feel you're an inspiration today. So focus on peace and love. 
And the extra clarifies we've got then, a blessing from the beloved. Love unfolds your wings and you fly high above the earth into the realm of heaven. Blessed by the light of her beautiful soul, you enter the emerald heart of the Divine Mother, which is full of eternal blessings. The world is your playground, waiting to be explored, beloved. So what this is saying to you is the world's your oyster. You can go where you want to go, do what you want to do, be who you want to be. The angels are with you, supporting you, you're not alone. And I love how we've got this kind of energy of the Divine Feminine in this card. You know, standing up for what you believe in, knowing that everything is happening at the right time. And a blessed idea. An idea will manifest endless blessings for you, but you must act to bring the idea to life. So if you do receive ideas today, make sure you write them down because they're coming from heaven. The time is right. Know that the world is full of ideas floating around aimlessly until someone notices and breathes life into them. This is your time to shine, have faith. And I really see this as a time where you're going to start seeing results for the things you've been doing. Opportunity is going to knock. So be grateful, a blessing of gratitude. Be grateful for all of your experiences, for all in life serves a purpose. There is a blessing in all things that did or did not happen. There is a blessing unfolding this very moment. That's why the sun keeps coming out. Listen to your heart and follow its wisdom. Be mindful for the journey is, an, is as important as a destination. So you're being reminded that it's the journey to union that makes it powerful. It's the journey to union that brings all those blessings and those opportunities in and all the healing. And we've got the Um Shanti Peace Blessing. Um Shanti, blessed are you with everlasting peace beyond words or understanding. Blessed are you with tranquility and peace. Blessed are you with the clarity that reveals the beauty of your soul and through which all appears as infinite. When you focus on bliss, the universe opens doors where there are only walls. And that's your blessed power. It says you are a field of endless possibility with unlimited power to create. Every atom of you is full of abstract potential that can be moulded into any form. Every particle of you holds the blueprint of creation. You are a force of nature and a great blessing on this earth. So remember your power, Divine Feminine, and the blessing of positive thought. Each time you notice a negative thought cross your mind, stop and consciously replace it with a positive one. Practice this until the pattern is broken. You will set yourself free. This is a blessing you give to yourself. It will lead you to a feeling of deep peace and deep contentment. Namaste. And namaste is a form of respect. It's saying the part of me connecting with God sees the part of you connecting with God. It's about mutual respect. It's about knowing that we are all learning and growing and we're doing the best we can. So let's bring the book in today. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know? So on this day, we've got Feed the Birds. Wow. Feed the Birds, Tuppence a Bag. They're just reminding me there of Mary Poppins and the magic of Mary Poppins. And also, you know, I know so many of you will have seen Home Alone. You know, it's a classic with Macaulay Culkin in a Christmas film. With the, I think it's in number two with the lady who feeds the birds. And the beauty in that too. So, you know, the beauty when we give, we receive. So we angels work closely with birds to send you messages of love. So I feel you're going to receive messages today through birds. Because birds, like angels, are messengers. Whether you see a dove that brings in peace, a seagull that reminds you of your power, of freedom and strength. You may see a hummingbird, which is about sweetness and operating in your true light. You could see a magpie. Whenever I see a magpie, it's a sign of God. It's a sign of my dad coming through the father energy around me. And other birds may mean specific things to you. Remember, the eagle is a symbol of the divine masculine coming home. Beautiful. It says, when you see a bird exhibiting unusual behaviour, or you find feathers in unexpected locations, you can be sure that we angels are behind it. So when you see a beautiful white feather... Whether it floats down around you or you see it on a mug or on a show, 
It's a sign of angel protection that you're being comforted and loved from above. If you see a darker feather, it's a symbol of forgiveness, that you've been asked to forgive and release and heal the past. There's a reason why we've depi we're depicted with wings. You know, the reason these wings are here is A, because someone bought them for me and I love them. But number two, the main reason anyway, number one, is because it reminds me of my purpose, why I'm here. To bring angels and the angelic realm into every reading. To remind you that you are not alone, that you are strong. It doesn't mean that we are angels in any way because we have an ego when we walk the earth. But it means we are protected by them and they are all around us. So when you interact with birds, you can feel our energy more clearly. And there's a reason why we're depicted with wings, as both we and the birds soar above all seeming limitations and problems. Yet we always keep a watchful eye below. We may not be experiencing the struggles, but we're supporting you through everything that happens. So the angel's saying, rise above things today. Remember the caterpillar goes through the struggle and becomes the butterfly. These birds will help you commune with nature angels and archangels, along with your guardian angels and ancestors. So feed the birds today and spend some time in their company. They'll appreciate your generosity and you'll benefit from their sweet songs, presence and energy. There's nothing more beautiful than watching birds. Whether you're sitting out watching birds in your garden or you're sitting in a park, birds are powerful. Birds are beautiful. Even pigeons are beautiful. You have to see beyond what people say or what people think. Birds are beauty. I feed the birds and I feel my heart become lighter, as light as a feather, noticing the angelic signs that come to me. I allow my spirit to fly as freely as a bird. So this is a great day to feed the birds, whether that's putting bird seed out into your own garden and your own bird feeder, or you're going near a lake or a pond, or you're walking in nature. The birds are with you, sending you love. And whether you feed them or you don't, whether you believe in that or you don't, birds are going to come to you in many, many ways to show you you are not alone, you are loved, and you are safe. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments section what birds you see today, and I'll see you soon.